And hello, my fellow nerds out there. It's Oracle Richie, and welcome back to Butterfly Soup. We're here in a Karsha story. So, Karsha story, and yeah, I think that's about it. So, so let's continue where we let's just continue where we left off. Hey, I'm here. Hello, Dia, homie. Dia's examining something on a tree branch. Miles tells Edgeworth made a cocoon. She points to the chrysalis. He's soup inside now. Mmm, <laughs> soup. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Their whole body liquefies and has to rebuild itself. Imagine imagine if growing up was that bad for us. It must be a complicated process. I always worry some I always worry something will go go wrong in there and they won't ever wake up. What if someone shakes it really hard and it'll stir the soup? Nah man, they're pretty resilient. Did you know that its memory survives that? If you teach a caterpillar something, like like to fear a certain smell or whatever, after it comes out of a cocoon as a butterfly, it'll still remember. Even though the outside di the outside's different, it's the same caterpillar on the inside, from the beginning to end. Will he remember me? Sure, as much as he as he can't as much as an eating machine can. Believe in Miles Tales, Edgeworth. Oh wait, is that where the game got its name from? Because they're talking about a caterpillar and the process of a metamorphosis, and it's basically soup instead of. I get it. I think I kind of get it. Akarsha, yeah. <clears throat> I need to tell you something. Noel wouldn't understand. <clears throat> I. Less. Bean. Uh, I like a girl. Oh, nice. You're not surprised? I mean, I can tell. I'm bi. It's not a secret. I've literally hit on girls in front of you. I've literally hit on you? You... what? But those were all jokes. I thought you were kidding. <clears throat> the kinds of jokes you decide to tell are indicative to your character. I tell gay jokes because I'm a gay joke. Because I am a gay joke. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, everyone's got their own way of thinking. I mean, pers I mean, personally, personally, I'm I'm Arrow Ace, so I kind of know what what she means. Also, you should tell Min. She likes you back. I'll help you. Huh? So Karsha is being helpful. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, are we moving on to Min? Of course we are. We're going to Min's story. Min, second grade. Min, are you ready to go? <clears throat> Heck no. I still gotta do my hair. Slowpoke. Not my fault. Now, you have any idea how long it takes to dry? I... Oh my god, that speaks to me on such a personal level because my hair takes so long to dry. Oh my god. I mean, I'm a guy with long hair, so I know how that feels. Oh, come on. It's like five minutes. But it builds up. Combined over my lifetime, it adds up to, uh, infinity. You know, if you don't know the answer, just admit it. <clears throat> I read something interesting in the news this morning. Wait, what? I thought you have that thing where you... Where you can't read. Dystopia? Dyslexia. See? Oh look, an echo. Dyslexia. Dyslexia. Right. Yeah. And I can read, it just takes me longer. So, what's the thing you read? What percent of America do you think is Asian American? I... Pr I'd probably say 80. But I also probably would say 50. Actually, hold on. Okay, so apparently the amount of, the percentage of Asian Americans in America is 5.7%. Uh, 
They populate California, New York, Texas, New Jersey, Illinois, Washington, Florida, Virginia, Hawaii, and Massachusetts. 5.7. That's none of these. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with 50 because that's the closest to that. Maybe like half? Probably more like 80%. What's the actual answer? 4%. Wow, okay, so this... Oh, wait, so... No, 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 because they're, they're child... These childhood days right here, like when they're kids, this takes place in 2008. So everything like 10 years or 10 years later is 2018. That makes a lot more sense. 4%? I knew it. He can't read. I can read. That's ri that's what it really said. Yeah, right. That's impossible. Are you sure you read it correctly? Sometimes you read things wrong. I didn't read it wrong. I read it right. It's right, it said right there, four percent. It must have been a misprint. Like they forgot the zero. And thought the nine was a four, so it's really ninety percent. Oh, wait, I know. They forgot to include the Indians. It was including Indians? I don't know where this logic is going, Min, but go ahead. Why don't you guys believe me? It's really 4%. Because, it, because it's not. Hayden, look around you. Do you see any white people? I'm. I was going to say something here. But I'm deciding not to. Min gestures to help the other kids on the playground. Indeed, everyone is Asian. You're like an endangered species. But that's just here. The rest of the country isn't like this. Don't you wonder why everyone is white on TV? That's easy, because their parents won't let them, them become actors. It's too risky. Only white parents are that dumb. Hey, come on. I'll have you know my parents are not stupid, okay? They can be a little forgetful, but they're not dumb. Okay, but what about your spoiled sports? There aren't Asians there either. That's the same thing. Being an athlete is too risky for Asian parents to approve of it. I mean, not really. This ain't quite... Oh, wait, but then again, this takes place in 2008. So... Man, I mean, I was, I mean, I was a kid back then, so I didn't know anything. The difference can't be that big. I'm going to cut cut out the newspaper article and show it to you guys. Stop looking at me with all the, all concerned like that. I can't believe it. Hayden's gone mad. I'm not mad. Gone mad. Hey, Hayden, are you feeling lonely or something? It's okay. We still like you, even though you're different. Yeah. Every year they show us that video where where they go back in time to racism. Racism is over. I give up. Forget it. The playground structure rattles as a bunch of boys climb aboard. Hey, Hayden, Jun, want to play baseball? Oh, uh, he looks like he re he really doesn't want to. Uneasily, he turns to Hayden, who just shrugs. Are you both in? Aren't you both in little league? Y yeah, but what about me? Can I play? You? Yeah, why not? There's an uncomfortable silence. <clears throat> the group is nervously exchanging glances amongst themselves. Eh, this is clearly the first time a girl is asked to join their ranks. <clears throat> I'm not like other girls. I'm way, way worse. The others look at Min skeptically. What? Are you scared you'll lose to a girl? What? No! Wow, you are scared! You little bitch. <laughs> Ash falls over the group. She just said the B word. She plays video games too. Oh yeah, like what? Like Sonic Adventure 2. Hell yeah! Best game at best Sonic game ever. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Okay, obviously on the secret side, I kind of like Sonic Boom, but I but I don't know. It's just a little too glitchy for my taste. I like Sonic Adventure 2 even more. This instantly wins everyone over. <laughs> all you gotta do is... I, see, back then, all you gotta do is say, I play Sonic Adventure 2. Bam! You win everyone over. 
The group has made their way to the field. Jun, your shirt's so girly. How is it girly? It's Arthur. Everyone is scrutinizing Jun's shirt now. Wearing Arthur on your shirt looks gay. I'm not gay. Then why are you wearing that shirt? <laughs> wow, see, see, 2008 was brutal for kids, okay? It was brutal. Min takes out a box cutter. Hey, what's so funny? You wanna go? The blade glints in the sunlight as she, as she stabs it in the air in front of the jeering boys. Frey and everyone abruptly stops laughing. You, you can't do that. Says who? You? Fight me. The boy shrink, shrinks back on the bench at, as she nears him. That's what I thought. Min successfully asserted dominance over the leader of the group. She clicks the blade back in and sits down. Thanks. Anytime. It's your it's your Nuna's job to protect it's your Nuna's job to protect you. Is that like their name for sister or or twin? Hold on, let me look this up. Oh, okay, so Nuna's Nuna is literally Chinese uh is literally uh wait, is it no wait, no, it's Cor it's Korean, Richard. Come on. It's Cor it's Korean literally meaning older sister. Sister, a female friend or female sibling who's older than you as a as male used by a younger male to call an older female or sibling. Oh, okay. Like, like, like come on, Richard. It's Korean, not Chinese. It's very different. It's Min's turn at bat now. She swings ferociously at the incoming pitch. Die! Min hits the ball towards the mound. The pitcher ducks to avoid, avoid getting beamed. Min, Min reaches the bag with, with time to spare. Uh, base, the base with time to spare. I made it to first. It's Jun's turn at bat. Jun blunted it to the dirt. Blunted it to the dirt. He's sacrificing himself so I can make it to second. Min dashes to second base. She slides feet first into the bag. Ha! <laughs> Suddenly, everyone's laughing at her. Huh? Min, you're skirt. She's pointing. He's pointing down at it. Min's skirt is flipped up so everyone can see her underwear. Well, I hate skirts. They're so stupid. What? Don't be silly. You look cute in them. I don't want to look cute. I want to look cool. Well, we already bought them, so you have to wear them. I always say I don't like them, but you keep buying them anyways. I'd rather die than wear one. It's embarrassing. How come I have, to, I have to when Jun doesn't? That'd be crazy. Jun's a boy. Boys don't wear skirts. Trust me. Trust me, lady. Ten years, ten years later, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a little bit shocked. Or I should say, twelve, eleven, twelve years later, you'd be shocked at how many boys actually do wear skirts. There's, and there's not, and there's nothing wrong with it. Hell, hell, I think it, hell, I think it's pretty okay. I accept it. It's not fair. Then why? Then I won't wear skirts either. Then. Also, mom, I don't like this shirt anymore. What are you talking about? That's your favorite shirt. I changed my mind. Why? It's a perfectly good shirt. I just did. All right. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to not like a shirt. Both of you are being. Both of you are being ridiculous. You're wearing clothes we bought you, and that's final. So, so spoiled. What kind of kids are you? The car glides up a ramp on the, to the freeway. Junsio is mashing the buttons on his Game Boy Advance like his life depends on it. You've been playing? You've been playing that the entire day. It's my turn. Wait, just five more minutes. You said that 20 minutes ago. I have to beat this level. Mom, Jun, Jun won't let me play the Game Boy even though he said he would. Why don't you look outside at all the trees? Why do I have to do that when Jun gets to play Sonic? That's not fair. It's not normal for a girl to play video games that much. Again, 12 years later, you're gonna be surprised. None of our friend's daughters play, play games. So? There must be something wrong with your ho hormones. We should go see a doctor. Jesus Christ. Was everything really that stereotypical back in 2008? My god. I don't need to see a doctor, there's nothing wrong with liking games. 
Yes, there is. It's not natural for a girl. It's called a game boy, not a game girl. Jeez. Okay, that's a bit sexist. Haha, <laughs> good one. I really don't like their parents. I, I can see why. That's not funny. This isn't fair. It's just a game. Take it easy. Min wrenches the Game Boy out of Jun's hand. Before he can stop her, she she rolls down the window and chucks it as hard as she can into the freeway. Mom, look what Min did. You did what? Did you get the Game Boy back? We turned around and got it. The screen was busted, though. Once you turned it on, it, it showed it showed all that all this rainbow shit. You couldn't use it use it at all. No. Why are you so angry all the time? Always breaking stuff. Because people are stupid all the time. Just like, calm down. Try not getting angry. I am trying. Try harder. You, you didn't have to do that. Now neither of you can play it. Exactly. Now it's fair. Why should he get to be happy when I can't? That's one way to think about it. Jun returns to the table with their Happy Meals. Thanks. Hayden digs in his box and pulls out the plastic wrapped toy. Oh, look what I got! It's a futuristic looking Hot Wheels car sporting translucent ice blue windows. Whoa! Jonah wraps his toy too. His is a monster truck! Whoa! That's not bad either! Uh, I guess. <clears throat> I don't really know why, why these things get popular. Hayden, are you, are you, up, for, are you up to trading yours? Depends, what you got. Min takes her toy out of a Happy Meal. It's a Barbie doll. I don't want this. I'm gonna ask for a replacement. Oh, and we can play as young men. Hey, uh, look at TV. Imagine a world where love is illegal. The, the screen shows a man and woman bumping into each other and making eye contact. Breathtakingly original. The man and woman passionately making out. Yuck! A forbidden romance you like you've never seen before. For some reason, the entire cast is compromised of brown-haired white people. They all look similar enough that they could be siblings. What the heck? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and approach the counter. Walk back to seat. Uh, ask for a different toy. The man approaches the counter. Hey, you. I want a different toy. Sorry, we can't do that. No, I don't mean I'm trying to get a specific one. I want a boy one, but they gave me a girl toy by mistake. But you're such a pretty girl. You don't want a Hot Wheels. Yeah, I do. Hand it over or you're getting it. <laughs> you're a very funny little girl. Wow, okay. Okay, then. Be like that. Is she cutting her hair? What were you thinking? Why would you ruin your hair like that? That's what you get. And it's not ruined. It's better like this. What's gotten into you? If you continue like this, no man is ever going to marry you. Who cares? If I have to have long hair to get married, I don't want to get married. I don't ever want kids. Her parents furrow their brows in concern. You don't have... You have to have at least two or three. I don't think I'd make a good parent. I don't want my kids to end up hating me. You won't be happy if you don't have kids. Trust me. I... There are a lot of people out there that don't have kids and they are happy just the way they are. You'll get it when you grow up. What's there to get? Um, I never want to kiss a guy anyways. They're smelly and they're gross skin like- and have gross skin like dad. Well, nobody's perfect. You have to have realistic expectations. I am being realistic. I don't want someone who's nothing special. I'm pretty awesome, so I should get someone who's awesome too. Prince Charming doesn't exist in real life. If you think like that, you'll never find anyone. Then I'll just- then I'll just stay alone. You can't do that. Why do you get to decide what happens to me? 
We're your parents. You have to do what we say. It's... No, it's my life, not yours. What's wrong with you? What did we ever deserve to get, to get a horrible child like this? There's something wrong with her brain. She's so disobedient. She's still playing baseball with all those boys. What's wrong with that? Do you see any other girls doing that? Do you want to be some kind of weirdo? But Jun gets to. How come I can't? I don't get to. Jun is a boy. You're a girl. What part of that don't you understand? Are you brain damaged? That's stupid. It's not fair. That's reality. The world's not fair. This isn't some fairy tale. You have to accept it or you're stupid. I won't accept it. I won't ever accept it. So stupid. We really have to take you to a doctor now. You have mental problems, brain damage. Jesus Christ, I'm not saying that. You're the one who's retarded. Okay, I just, as soon as I say that I'm not saying that, Jesus, like, I wouldn't say that to a, to a kid. I don't mind, but I would still mind if the kid said it, okay? Just to clarify. I hate you, go to hell. There's a small statue sitting in the living room shelf. Min's dad picks it up and hurls it at her. Min! Min dodges. The statue strikes the glass t glass coffee table behind her, shattering the glass to a thousand pieces on the floor. Min's was expecting the shards to be all sharp and jagged, but instead they look like ice slush. You were asking for it. Okay, first of all, lady, do not encourage your husband's behavior. Jun Seo has started crying. Stop it, she's sorry. She's sorry, just stop. Shut up. He grabs Jun's arm. Min lunges at her dad and bites down on his wrist. Ah! He let go of Jun. Min throws a punch, but he catches it with his hand. He's so strong. I hate this, I hate this. I'll kill him if it's the last thing I do. I'll kill him. I'll save all of us. I'll wait until he's asleep and slit his throat. You can't. You'll go to jail. Um, she's a kid. She'll probably just go to juvie. I don't have a choice. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I don't want to be ha But I want to be happy, too. If Dad dies, we won't have enough money to live. Then Mom will get a new husband. Maybe this time we'll get a normal one who doesn't go crazy and break everything. Dad only does that when he's mad. You knew he'd lose his temper if you kept saying things like that. You should have just apologized and said you were wrong. But I wasn't wrong. Yeah, see, Min wasn't wrong. Min was actually right in the right there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I'm not going to say I was wrong when I wasn't. You're so stubborn. Don't you get it? There's no way to win against him. The more you argue, the worse you're making things. You have to learn how to pick your battles like me. Like me and mom. Why do I... Oh. I didn't get to read. Hold up. Come on, scroll all the way down. The game is laggy. <clears throat> Why do I have to be the one here who has to be mature? That's not fair. I'm a kid. He's supposed to be the adult. I don't deserve to be treated like that. If he can't control himself, he shouldn't be allowed to have kids. You can't think about some other... You can think about some other time when he's not about to blow up. Just act like you're sorry. I'd rather die. Look, this is just common sense. Why don't you get it? It's just... Just keep your head down and act normal until, you, until we're old enough to get out. Screw that. I shouldn't have to worry about any of this in the first place. I'm not letting him treat me, treat me that way like some wimpy sissy. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. I'll walk that line. No, you have to learn. I have to learn? I didn't do anything wrong. He's the one who should learn. We already went over this. You're a coward. You're an idiot. I don't understand you. Good, I don't understand you either. Damn. Min sulks on the benches as Jun and Hayden's team goes on, on defense. They hate everyone. How can they? Un how can they still stand how unfair everything is? It's so obvious. 
Are they just dumb? There's something wrong with the world. God, I'm so mad. She takes out a pack of seaweed sheets and aggressively chomps on, on them. Th as as she thinks as, as she thinks edgy rebellious thoughts. I don't need anyone. I'll do everything all by myself. I'll never fall in love. I'll be like a lone wolf. Yeah, just wait until Dia comes along. Then you'll then you'll totally change your mind. I'll become so happy and successful that everyone who ever be, who ever be, who was ever bad to me has to beg on their hands and knees to for, for me to forgive them. That'll show them. They'll regret being so stupid and wrong while I was right. An enemy batter comes up to the plate. <coughs> oh my god, holy shit! The Collies. It's a girl with, with eyes the color of desert, a desert camouflage. The boys seated next to Min are murmuring and pointing at the batter. Hey look, it's a girl batting. Yes, our team got lucky. The pretty girl is shaking like a leaf as she set, settles in, into her batting stance. She looks terrified. Don't give up. You're cool. Do you hear me? Don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. Hey, and there's the origin of that line! At the sound of Min's voice, the batter whirls around to face the st stand, her eyes searching the crowd. For some reason, she can't seem to discern what direction it came from. Eventually, she gives up and turns back to the diamond. The pitcher winds up and sends a fastball straight down the middle. The batter swings at it with terrifying power. The ball rockets off the bat and flies over the fence on the far end of the field. Holy shit! Wow! God bless America! A national treasure! The better hit, hit a walk-off. The, ga the game is over because she scored. Everyone becomes comes in the field and her teammates have come bounding over a giddy of their victory. They're laughing and chatting amongst themselves. The girl is nervously nodding at them instead of speaking. She's so shy. That's so cute! Aw, I love how Min has a crush on her. It's adorable. I wonder what her voice sounds like. Maybe she can't talk, like Ariel and Little Mermaid. That's a pretty odd comparison, but okay. Min's heart is pounding so fast. Oh shit, okay, okay. Min, calm down. Play it cool. Be smooth. Panic flashes in the girl's eyes when, she, when Min runs up to her. Hey, um, you're really cool. What's your name? I I'm Min. The girl's face lights up and she recognizes Min's voice. It was you earlier. You cheered for me. Of course I did. You were a badass. The girl startles. Min, Min said a swear word. I mean, you were awesome. I'm Dia. That's so pretty. It sounds like... It sounds like you. Aww. I have seaweed. Do you want some? Dia looks at Min all wide-eyed. She can't believe her luck. Min actually spends a fraction of a second think trying to think of a way she can act, casually give her seaweed and somehow touch her hand in the process. In the end, she just holds out the sheet and only. Dia's fingertips brushes Min's as she takes it. The bizarre tingling feeling, in, impossible to identify, prick, prickles across Min's palm. To fe it, feels like, it feels like being tickled with soda bubbles. Thanks. You're welcome. Aww. <laughs> this is adorable. Min stands there with an idiotic smile on her face as Dia eats it. Do you want to be friends? Aww. Ninth grade. Min. Help me. What's wrong? Who hurt you? I'll kill them. I'll smash, I'll smash their heads in. I don't know how to talk, talk to the baseball team. They're being weird. Uh, check the baseball club chat. Pets you. <laughs> hey, it's Sakura. Pets you. Yeah. Person rolls over. WTF? Ohio goes a mo goes a morning. Ohio goes a morning. I'm pretty sure the phrase is Ohio goes a masu. Join our RP group. Rubs against men. Kicks you over a fence. <laughs> Be a furry freak host somewhere else. Sad, yeah. Yeah, he just Chris is into the chat room. Hey, Krista. 
Yo. <coughs> we should do something to celebrate our win. How about going for lunch? Lunch. <coughs> that sounds good. Any suggestions for, for where? Buffet. Perfect. I have a coupon for Bombay Garden. It's an Indian buffet in the, in the mall. <laughs> if we're really being frugal, I bet men could pass off as under 12 for kids for a kid's price. Why stop there? Infants eat for free. Damn. Hey! More realistically, men could actually fit in in our equipment bag. Like giant 3 foot long one. We can straight up straight up smuggle her inside and not pay for her at all. Won't the waiters find it odd that, that a tiny Asian kid suddenly materializes at her table? No, they won't see her. She'll stay in the bag. <coughs> when no one's looking, we can quickly slip the food inside. What kind of demented fantasy is even is this? I'm getting scared for your future children, you weirdo. That sounds kind of fun, actually. I'll do it. What? I'll be like... Illegal... Illegal. Alright, let's meet up at noon tomorrow. Be there or be square. Tomorrow? I won't be able to go. Hmm. Why not? I just had fun three months ago. My parents will complain that, will complain that I'm wasting time. I can't go either. I'm still grounded for getting expelled from Niles. How are you coming to practice then? I told them I'm going to tutoring group. Can't you say you're you're going to a special ed special additional session? Because you're extra dumb and need help? Fuck you. <laughs> and that's not gonna work. They won't be convinced that easily. Wait, listen. I have an idea. Min Min's mom accompanies her to the library. Noah was seated inside with her mom. Min gestures at her wrinkling her nose with disgust. This is my private tutor or whatever. Yes, I'm receiving extra credit for this. Min's mom's eyes are, are clearly ner eyes a clearly nerdy girl girl Min would never be friends with. No. Noel's mom eyes the eyes a clearly stupid Noel with the stupid girl Noel would never be friends with. Show us the latest math test. Min takes a crumpled ball of paper out of her pocket when she smooth when she smooths it out it's marked all over red with failure. What happened? I got unlucky. There, there were so many so many where I narrowed it down to two choices and guessed wrong. There's only four choices. Even if you chose every single answer at random on average, you would have scored higher than this. Yeah, says who? What? It says probability. Noel teaches Min the concept of the probability. It sounds fake. It's not fake. Do you at least understand it now? I guess. Finally convinced that Noelle is legitimately tutoring Min, their mom heads home. We fooled them! All we need to do now is walk to the buffet and remember to come back here later to get picked up. It's so messed up that we have to do this, just, just for really basic things. We're not even doing anything bad. I can't comprehend a situation where you don't have mo- <coughs> Don't have to hide most of your life from your parents. Right? I hope the relationship with your parents? What's that? It sucks that due to so societal pressures, practically everyone has to has kids, whether they're well suited for parenting or not. It took me a long time to accept that my mom and dad are decent people who just happen to make horrible parents. I bet mine are worse. My dad taped the time the times table up to twelve times twelve on my wall to my wall at eye level and made the me standing facing it until I memorized the whole thing in one go. I was only five, but I remember it clearly because I was there for hours and hours. I still don't know what eleven I still don't know the eleven and twelve ones. Oh yeah? My dad once threw a porcelain toilet seat from at me from upstairs. Why a toilet seat? My dad went to pee in the middle of middle of an argument and suddenly remembered how mad he was at me. So he started out of the bathroom with the thing in hand and hurled it at me on sight. Wow, that explains a lot about you. Parents should be required to take a, take a test before they can have kids. I wish that were viable. 
Maybe in an ideal world where all vehicles turn turn signals sync up and blink at the same speed. I want I'd want to test to ask that that to explain their motivation for being a parent. Do you Do you want to, do you want a kid to just to elevate your own status? What if your kids don't turn out the way you expected? A bunch of white guys holler at them as they pass by the intersection. Konnichiwa! Min takes an obscure hand gesture at him. This is America. Speak English, motherfucker. That's not the correct way to think of it. It's kind of funny. We ha He had two chances to get it right and, and got both wrong for both of us. Like you and your math test. Oh, shut up! <laughs> We're here. Ooh, this place looks pretty cool. Dia and Akarsha are wait are already waiting by the fountain. Dia. Um, oh, that's that's hello. Hi. Uh, oh, that's Korean for I love you. Oh, that's adorable. I didn't even know that. I didn't even notice. Maybe I should have done more research. Okay, yeah, so it, it is Korean for I love you, though Though I think one of the... Though I think one of the characters is missing, though. Yeah, yeah, they're missing a character, but... Yeah. But, yeah, it, 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 it is close to I love you in Korean. This just added five years to my lifespan. Aww. Dia has moved so that says she's standing directly beneath the air conditioning vent. She closes her eyes contently as cool draft blows it over her face. You're sweating buckets. Were you exercising or something? Ran five miles from to here from my house. But your house is only one mile away. I know. I just can't read maps. You should cool off in the fountain. No. It doesn't matter that you're not wearing a swimsuit. If you take off your clothes, your bra and underwear is basically a bikini. You think you think the swimsuit is all is the only issue here? It's called having fun, Frenchman. You should try it sometime. Really? Then why don't you jump in the fountain? Great question. <laughs> like good question. What? It's filled with money people threw in there. It's like swimming pool but better. She's right, there's nothing stopping us from taking it. You can't be serious. Stop, stop! <laughs> oh my god, look at him. How much money you got so far? Min examples a fistful of dirty coins in her hands. Uh, a lot. Min holds out for a to see. You got like a dollar eighty-eight. We need to find 392 more cents and we can buy Mario Party at GameStop. Hell yes! Hey, what are you doing in there? Get out! Chris is power walking towards them. Shit. Akarsha and Min reluctantly climb out of the mall fountain. Why are you two like this? Have you never gone outside before? How dare you! Just last week, I went to Safeway with my mom. Akarsha points at Ed Noel, who's, sm who's smugly watching them get scolded from a safe distance. And you. What? I didn't do anything. Exactly. You should have stopped them. Are you the responsible one or not? Alright, I think, I, I think they get it. Let's just go into the restaurant now. Get in the bag, man. Liz places the empty equipment bag on the floor and unzips it. Min climbs in and lies her on her side in the field position. That's a, there's actually some room to spare. You okay in there? It's kind of like being in a sleeping bag, except not padded or shitty. I'm doing I'm doing a crime. If I stay undercover like this, I'll basically be stealing from the restaurant. That's right, homie. Fight the system. We need to zip this up now, so no one sees you. Everyone, everyone wave goodbye to Min. Bye, Min. <laughs> I can't see a thing now. That, that, now that it's zipped shut. Min feels like, fit, like a tug on top of a bag. Feels a tug on the top of the bag. Uh, I didn't think about, th about carrying the bag. Bag in. It's like a hundred pounds. Dia can lift it. She's the strongest. No, Dia won't work. She looked too guilty. You can you can see it in her face. See, Mom? She's already uncomfortable. Did you just call me Mom? What? I did not. You totally did. 
I absolutely did not. <laughs> All right, I'll carry the bag. Whoa, she's lifting the bag off the ground. I'm suddenly really worried about being dropped. If you drop me, I'll kill you. They've halted inside the restaurant. How many? Nine. I mean, eight. We don't have any large tables left. Is two separate ones fine? Sure. Come this way. The bag shifts with Chris's movements as she follows the waiter. These tables are, all, are pretty tall. If men were sitting at it, she'd need a booster seat. I am not that short, you bitch! Hmm? Shit. Men's life as a fugitive has ended. At least now you've blown your cover, you can eat normally with us. Yeah. Min crawls out of the bag and takes a seat with a car and Will and Dia. We can get her drinks and food now. As the car reaches her, her empty glass, Noel, Noel grabs her arm. Wait, I'll get your water along with mine. You go ahead and get your food. Thanks? Don't mention it. Do you have a fever or something? You're really docile all of a sudden. I don't have the energy to deal with you, with both you and Mincio at the same time. I'll get you back for this later. I like how getting her water is something you, you have to get get her back for. Dia pauses and turns to look at Min. She, the restaurant is no, noisy enough that she likely didn't catch what Min said, but she heard her tone of approval. You like Noelle now? Her face is shining with hope. Min is struck, struck with the conviction and saying no, no would be a crime punishable by death. She's okay, I guess. Dia beams at her, with the blinding exposure temporarily lowers Min's IQ by 50 points. <laughs> yeah, that was so worth it. <laughs> I love this. I don't know what anything is. Surely you at least recognize tando tandoori chicken. You're saying it wrong. Wait, really? Tandoori? Tandoori. The do isn't, isn't like door, it's like doo-doo head. Are you five years old? You could have at least said do in do, in due date. Tandoori. Tandoori. Now it sounds weird. I ended up taking a bit of everything. Maybe this will make Dia think I'm cool for trying all of it. The tando tandoori chicken is too salty. Noah dumps it on Dia's plate. Dia eagerly stuffed the extra food in her mouth. What is she, your garbage disposal? That is literally something me and Dia can relate to on a spiritual level. I am literally a human garbage disposal when it comes to a buffet. <sighs> Min jitters her leg to the table was rattling, rattling like there's a small earthquake. Stop that. The crusher joins the same, at the same frequency, so it resonates. Knowledge is power. The crusher sips her water. She's She's down to about half the glass now. Clearly waiting for this moment to arrive, Noelle smugly flips open her cell phone and shows it to her. Akarsha, look at this photo. It's a picture of the restaurant's bathroom stall. In the center of the frame, Noelle is holding a glass of water in the to, to the toilet. Is that... You fill my cup with toilet water? What do you think? Seriously? Akarsha stands. Noelle is per... Noelle is... Has a per... Perversely... Perversely happy look on her face, like a child burning ants with a magnifying glass. Seriously now, are you serious? Come on, man. Seriously now, really? Really? Are you serious? Come on, man. Now we're even. Ew, ew. I can't believe you, you meanie. My stomach hurts now. You're being over dramatic. The bacteria won't affect it that fast. I'm gonna wash my mouth out. And Karsha disappears into the bathroom. Jesus Christ! Worried, worried, Dia goes after Akarsha, leaving Min alone, at, alone with Noel at the table. Noel is in a particularly good mood now. Talk to Noel, check on Dia and Akarsha. Okay, this. This seems like a. This seems like an important choice. Well, let's go ahead and talk to her. Was it really toilet water? What? Of course not. That would have been unsanitary. What kind of person do you think I am? What the fuck? That somehow makes it even worse. You lied to her. 
I never lied. I purposely led her to the wrong conclusion, that's all. I'm pretty sure that's what lying is. Um, it pisses me off to admit it, but you're less boring than I originally thought. I used to think you were the bland goody two-shoes type. <clears throat> but you're actually this sadistic and manipulative weirdo. I can respect that. Thanks? Sorry I've been a jerk to you. I could... If I give you a chance, we might have gotten along. What? J just kidding, I hate you. Noel nods with relief. Good, I hate you too. None of the none of this Disney shit. Right? Uh, let's go check on Dia and Akarsha. <clears throat> Min gets up and hovers awkwardly outside the women's restroom. Peering through the door from from the hallway, she can see Akarsha and Dia at the sink. Akarsha Akarsha cups her hands under under a running faucet, gargles the tap water, and spits it back out. Oh my god, people pooped in that toilet water, and I drank it. Yeah. This would happen to me. Classic. What did I ever do to deserve this? You tied Noelle's braid to a tree. Besides that, that's so minor. You accidentally dropped a worm with worm we were dis we were dissecting down her shirt. <clears throat> Besides that, that was weeks ago. Yesterday you picked her up and replied okay when she dem demanded you put her down, you threw her into a school swimming pool. And when she screeched, now I'm all wet, you yelled that that's what she said. Besides that, none of those count! Such a cruel world we live in. Right. Dia clearly has no idea what to say. Even though she mostly is just standing there listening, th listening though Akarsha seems to appreciate her presence. <coughs> Looks like they're doing okay. Let me return to the table. <coughs> you're taking a long time in there. She's not crying, is she? No, she's just being a drama queen, like usual. What, are you worried? No. <laughs> She's... Can, can I just say that Noelle is probably definitely the Sundere type? I was just curious. Whatever you say, Satan. The workers are refilling the iced tea keg now. That looks good. Min fetches a glass of iced tea and returns to the table. What is that? Iced tea? What? Where, were, where was it? Min points to the glass keg at the corner of the buffet. Why is it all by itself? Away from the other beverages. Uh, maybe they didn't have any room by the soda machine? Now she looks at it, though. There is a room... There is room by the soda machine. Shit, you're right. <coughs> what the hell is... What the hell is this, then? How should I know? Min sniffs it. I can't tell what it is. You try. Noble brings the bolt, bolt to her face and inhales. I don't know. It doesn't smell like tea. Min pours half of it into another glass and slides over to Noel. I don't want this. It's a symbol of our not being enemies anymore. I don't even know what it is. Then try it. You try it. What, are you scared it'll taste bad? <clears throat> what if it's a condiment or a sauce? It would be like eating mustard. We should just wait for Dee and Akarsha to come back and ask them. I don't want to be sitting here with, with matching cups with you. It looks stupid. You should have thought about that before taking a glass of mystery liquid. I thought you knew what it was. Noelle glares down at her glass with orangey yellow yellow liquid. After after a long moment, takes a sip of it. Well, what is it? It's spicy, not sweet. It's weird for a beverage, though. I don't like it. What are you, racist? I'm not racist. Eh. You're, you're like one of those wimps who, who are afraid of who are afraid of durian. Closed-minded. I'm not... Look, I'll finish it. It's, pro it's probably an acquired taste like durian's. Min begins drinking her glass of liquid, too. It does taste weird for a drink. I don't like it, but... I'm, but I'm better than her. I'll never admit it. Grimacing, they continue drinking the mystery liquid in silence. Hey, you're like... You're like a Dia expert, right? More or less. Can I ask you for your opinion on something, then? Yes? What would be the best possible place to take Dia on a date? A dog park. I already... I mean, besides a dog park. Then the Harry Potter theme park at Universal Studios. I don't have the money to... I mean, the budget to sp 
in this situation is in this situation and this situation is small in this hypothetical situation right in this hypothetical situation I'm testing your Dia knowledge hmm she also likes eating why don't you take her to a dessert place instead there's no one there's one she wants to try call, to, to try called Snow Castle. They have shaved ice and boba. It's within walking distance from school. Students often visit it during the lunch hour. Perfect. Thanks. I mean, you pass. Because I was testing you. Just as a reminder, I hate you. I'm only helping you to make sure Dia doesn't have a terrible time. Yeah, of course. I hate you too. Akasha and Dia have returned to the from the bathroom. Akasha's eyes widen as she sees Min gulp in her mouth full of the mystery liquid. Are you guys drinking Pani? Dia, look, look, they're drinking Pani. <laughs> What's Pani? You're so you're supposed to fill to fill pur to fill purry the fried dough ball things. You don't drink it all by your by itself. Noel gives glares at Min. I told you it wasn't a beverage. I was right. Don't pin it on me. You drank it all on your own. Do you guys swear ketchup directly into your mouths too? Shut up, ketchup man. <laughs> Both Dia and Akarsha are gleefully ta taking their phones out their phones. Don't take photos. Look what I got. It's a photo of, photo of a blurred, scowling Noel trying to shove the shameful cup away from her. Send it to me. You're never going to let us live this down, are you? You guessed it, Ketchup Man, too. Whatever, pea girl Noelle storms up off to the buffet area to escape Akarsha's photos. Akarsha gets up and chases after her. Noelle's making things even worse. There's going to be action sh shots of her running around in the salad bar now. And of her tripping. Huh? But she hasn't tripped. As if on cue, Noelle stumbles over, and no on over nothing and trips. Hey, this isn't a jungle gym. Wow, you're good. We're alone at the table now. It's my chance to ask her out. Uh, we should go out and eat sometime. We're already eating right now. I mean, it's some other time. Just the two of us. Smooth. <laughs> the next day. Snow Castle. We're here, on a date. It's lunchtime at school right now. We ate really fast and sprinted here. How much time do we have? About 30 minutes before we gotta run back to campus. Thanks for being here. Thanks for bringing me here. I've always wanted to try their shaved ice. I'm, I'm the one you, who should be thankful. Don't mention it. Min receives a chat message. She quickly checks her phone. I have prepped a Dia cheat sheet. Cheat sheet for your reference. Top desserts. Drinks Dia likes. Any food artificially colored to look blue. The flavor is irrelevant. E.g. blue raspberry, Baja Blast, etc. Dia cannot tell the difference, but we will refer to it as blue flavor. <laughs> Pe peanut butter. She, she is neutral towards actual peanuts. Mango. Food with a circle in the center. E.g. bagels, bunt, bunt cakes, peach gummy, peach gummy rings. Oh, I love peach gummy rings. If you're in a situation where multiple food items have these features, e.g. both blue colored cake and a mango mousse cake are available, the hierarchy is as follows. Blue paper is greater than peanut butter, peanut butter is greater than mango, mango is greater than circle in the center. This is just a conversation topics. Owl City. Owl City, that's one of the bands, ain't it? Owl City, dogs who have, have different, colored fur, different colored fur above, the, uh, above their eyes so it looks like they, they have eyebrows, and the most extreme, Animal Planet series. Okay, I'm actually going to take a picture of this because I feel like I'm going to forget it immediately. <laughs> okay. I'll text you if I run into trouble. Understood. Me and Dia take their place in line and gaze up at the menu. The shaved ice desserts look massive. Maybe we can share one. Dia nods eagerly. It's on purpose. They're made for couples to eat together. We're sharing one. It's Dia and Min's turn in line now. Welcome to Snow Castle. Can I take your order? 
Thea looks anxiously at Min. Min's heart skips a beat, seeing the helplessness in her eyes. <clears throat> She's relying on me. I've got you. We'll have the Mount Fuji. That, that one is blue. One Mount Fuji coming right up. Thea and Min find a table and wait for their order. I'll pay you back. No, it's on me. Don't worry about it. I still have money from the mall fountain. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd kill someone that. I'd kill someone if you asked me to. I'm pretty sure you'd kill someone even if I didn't ask you to. The orders are being pre prepared on the counter as an employee is drizzling syrup on top of top and there are customers ma mountain of shaved ice. Hey, we can watch we can watch watch them making it. Don't wanna see. Food tastes better if you don't know what's in it. That way it's like magic. I mean she's not wrong. Huh. Never thought of it like that. Do you know how to cook? I can make microwave popcorn. That's not cooking. What can you cook? Not really. Once I tried making a pancake when I was nine, but it burned to a total crisp like a rock. Couldn't even scrape it out of the pan. It was so embarrassing that I d dug a big hole in the backyard and buried it. Including the pan? I was desperate. Didn't, didn't know what else to do. It's so cute, like a little puppy. Are you making fun of me? No, it's a good thing. It's so cute sometimes that I almost can't stand it. Oh, oh look at look at it. She's sweating. It's she's sweating. That's adorable. It's adorable. That she's blushing though. That's what I meant. I, I have to go to the bathroom. Thea staggers to her feet and makes for the restroom. She misses the door and slams straight into the wall. <laughs> Thea. Min rushes to her side as she staggers back and grabs a hold, hold of her, worried she might fall. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Dia shakes her head, face red. She, she seems to be struggling with the limits of spoken language. You sure? Dia nods frantically. Min tentatively lets her go. She watches Dia scramble into the restroom. Correctly this time. As Min returns to the table, her phone screen lights up with a message. I'm... I'm good so ducking done. Fun. The way you grabbed her, I thought you were gonna start dry humping her in the middle of the restaurant. Akarsha, I'm convinced those sunglasses are actually impending your mental processes. I am embarrassed to be seen with you. Well, I can't take them off. My cover will be blown. You should have chosen a better disguise in the first place then. What? Turn around. <laughs> really? That's the sunglasses you go with? What the fuck? Dia's been texting me for advice on you. That's why she went to the bathroom. What? Honestly, I'm annoyed she go goes to you and not me. Why, why would she go to you? You never talk about feelings and gay stuff. And I, <coughs> and I also have a master master seduction skills. What master seduction skills? My tactics. If you're if you're so knowledgeable on these matters, why are you single? Excuse you. I'm being single be, single because I want to be. Some people like being sad and alone, on purpose. On purpose. Right. On purpose. <coughs> Not because no one ever likes me back or anything. Don't attack me like this, what the fuck? Wait, guys, hold on. How long is, has, it been, has this been going on? Was the whole thing at the buffet's, buffet a setup when you two left the table? Take a wild guess, Sherlock. You know, you know, no, no, I'm starting to realize you do have a sense of humor. But you're so emotionally constipated, your style of humor is just being extremely mean. OMG, wait! Do you and Noelle get along now? We don't get along. But we used to... But we used to not get along much worse. Dia returns to the table. Are you feeling better? Dia nods sheepishly and then stiffens up, up in fear as a waitress approaches with their dessert on a tray. One Mount Fuji? Dia responds with... 
with frenzied nodding as the wait waitress slides the dessert on the table. Oh, okay, actually, that, that looks good. That looks really good. It's, it's a mound of shaved ice sculpted in, a stat in stature with blue raspberry syrup and, conden and condensed milk to look like a mountain. The blue flavor looks good. Noelle was spot on. What are the pink things? It's mochi. They're, they're supposed to look like cherry blossoms. Min stabs her spoon with the shaved ice and shoves it in her mouth. The shaved ice is so cold that her gums are growing numb. I think I'm getting brain freeze. Me too. A drop of cream is trickling down Dia's finger. She quickly licks it clean before before it can reach her palm. Min is so focused on watching she doesn't realize her own mouth is hanging open until she feels a trail of spit spit about drop down from it. Min accidentally drooled on, onto the table. Fuck shit. <laughs> Dia is staring determinedly into the Mount Fuji. She's probably pretending not to have seen. Help me! Pretend to drown down so she gives you mouth to mouth. What the fuck kind of plane is that? What would I even be drowning on? The shaved ice. No. The toilet? No! Trust me, I'm a love expert. There's all? There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Rather than potentially causing confusion like that, why don't you, you be open and tell her how you feel? You're the last person on the planet qualified to tell me to be open. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly open about my feelings. Since when? Hey, Frenchman, you enjoyed our company, right? I'm not sure how you how you deluded yourself into believing that. See? <laughs> Proved us right. You can't even argue it. She's trapped. She hates being being wrong, but she can't admit she likes us. I like you. However, you're immature and relentlessly annoying. Everything about you fills me with the incre indescribable rage. From the way you wear your, wear your windbreaker with flip-flops to, to your idiotic looking hairstyle. To how, you, how you're smart yet do things like, like call forks, food rakes, etc. And then you're volatile and stupid. I already hardly tolerate you. So if, so if you hurt Dia in any way, I won't hesitate to destroy you. Why do you have to immediately drag us to the to defuse the situation. Baby steps, Frenchman. Very good. Shut up! <laughs> now that I'm right, I'll, as always, about being open, Min has no valid excuse. What if Dia rejects me? Then that's her own personal problem of having bad, ta having bad taste. Her loss, not yours. What should I say? Let me think. Shit, bitch, you was fine! <laughs> What the hell no? Hey girl rep <laughs> What? Codename send nudes Really? That's an actual thing? Oh okay wait, I gotta look this up. Oh my god, it's an actual thing. What the fuck? Who says that? Who the fuck would say that? Do it. Hey girl rep <laughs> No. N Oh, if you don't make a move within the next five minutes, I'm a belt, belt the crazy frog song and ruin your whole day. I practice. Unfortunately, I can confirm that she's practiced. Okay, I can do this. My mouth is so cold. Want me to warm it up for you? Dia freezes. Oh my god, I fucked up, I fucked up. Dia gives her a nervous and very small nod. Okay, that's adorable. What? Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. Hey, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Min. Min crawls onto on the table on all fours with a loud clatter. Dia grasps Min, Min's cup. As Min cups her face in, in her palms and catches her lips with hers. Her mouth is so cold, it, as advertised, and blue flavor! <laughs> Dia doesn't push her away, but but she doesn't kiss back either. Min can feel her trembling in her arms, like a frightened rabbit. Anxious, Min pulls back over the sounds of Akarsha's whooping and yodeling in the background. 
<laughs> Dia is clinging, clinging desperately to Min's jacket sleeves with a vivid blush coloring her cheeks. Is this good? Dia frankly nods in response, looking embarrassed. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to do. I have never done this before. Me either. But don't worry. I looked it up on Yahoo Answers. <laughs> Unless you want to start smaller. I... I want to hold hands with you and cuddle. We can do that. Min takes Dia's hand. I'm happy that you kissed me. I like you a lot. Me too. Min lightly brushes Dia's li lips with her thumb. Dia shiv shivers at the touch of Min gently pulls, pulls her closer. Do you like this? Dia nods, then closes her eyes and leaves in. She nuzzles against Min, pe pepe peppering her cheeks with his soft little kisses. Oh, oh my god, Dia is kissing me! The table, it's... Noel stands up and is approaching them. What the fuck? Go away, Noel. I think I want... You think I want to be here watching you this disgusting display? The table is... The leg of the table gives way under Min's weight. Ouch! Ouch. I can't believe we're banned from Snow Castle now. I can't believe that Min broke their table. No choice. You could have held off on making out for 10 seconds and walked around. Walked around it. Like I said, no choice. That was even better than you guys drinking Penny in the buffet. Shut up. Yeah, shut your fuck up. <laughs> shut your fuck up. I hate you all. I'm going home. Okay, see you at practice tomorrow. No, wait, stay. Change my mind then. You have approximately 10 seconds. Friendship is like being on yourself. Everyone can see it, but oh, but only you get get the warm feeling it brings. What the fuck? Goodbye. No. What were you expecting after you after that you nasty freak hoe? P girl again? Meanie. You you don't dung elf. What? No. Oh. oh look at him. You know how during metaf metamorphosis inside a chrysalis, the caterpillar turns to soup? It melts into this disgusting muddled goose slushy. Everyone is a mess when, when they're growing up. Some people are just better at hiding it than others. It's okay to be a flaming dumpster fire. It's okay if you're not what your parents want you to be. It's okay to change your mind. If you want to be a butterfly, you have to be butterfly soup first. Hey, roll credits! <laughs> If you think about it like that, we're all doing pretty good right now. We just don't know it yet. Just keep going. Keep trying and eventually you'll find people who like you for the weird fuck up that you are. You deserve to be happy. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. Oh wait, are they, are they speaking directly to me? And if an alligator attacks you, go, go for the eyes. What? That's what I told Min last time she's... Last time she said that line, I'm not giving up. I have trivia like that too. If you're walking on the sidewalk and see a car coming towards you, instead of moving forward or backwards, go directly left or right to towards the nearest obstacle you see. Why left or right? I don't get it. There's normally too little time for to judge the car's direction. Moving directly perpendicular to how you're facing is is your best bet. I was looking looking up how to survive if a car drives into you as a pedestrian. I, I already told you, just hit the car out of the way. This turned into random advice ses into a random advice session. End this conversation, otherwise I'll be standing here forever. Okay, I'm ending it now. Bye. Oh. That's it. No way! Come on. Oh, okay. You know what? I loved it anyways. Additional songs, Blood God. <laughs> oh, this is this is a great story. I love this. I loved it all the way. All the way through. Yep. Are there beta testers? Oh, so cool. Special thanks. And you. Aww. I really miss high school. Huh?
The future. Oh, there is more. Oh, jeez, I dropped my freaking headphones. <laughs> so, which one do you want? Don't know. Which dog friend? Which dog friend you want, sheep? Shibe? Hearing his name, Shibe turns brightly to Dia, tongue tongue lolling out. His frog raincoat make, makes a crinkling sound against Min's arms as she as he wags his tail. He's too nice. He likes all of them. Dia peers down at the Pomeranian in the in the enclosure. <clears throat> this one rem reminds me of you. How? Small, but thinks she's invincible. Hey! It's a charm point. I love you for it. <gasps> Look how cute it is! Dia picks up the little Pomeranian, Pomeranian up and gazes in, and gazes into her black soulless eyes. Your name is Palm. Oh wait, wasn't that the other name in the beginning? Oh, that's so clever! So the so the name you pick in the beginning would determine the dog they get first. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, but... Anyways, yeah. That's gonna do it for Butterfly Soup. I honestly love the story. The girls are amazing. I love how, the, how they all interact with each other. It's it's so good. I love it. It's amazing, and I really want pe more people to know about this game. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment what you think below. Share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. And if you're coming back on the regular, why not? You might as well subscribe. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason